begin with breaking news. That breaking news is out of Rancho Cordova, where the search continues for this transient wanted in connection to a random, brutal machete attack that left a man in grave condition tonight. Deputies are calling the suspect armed and dangerous to police and the public. We're concerned being outstanding the, the randomness and the brutality of this attack. We are concerned for just the general public. Just awful. The victim of that attack was just riding his electric bicycle last night when he was attacked. Tonight, we're told his injuries are not survivable. KCRA 3 broke this story last night. Now, 24 hours after the attack, deputies have released the suspect's name. They say James Hall is a 42 year old homeless man who is known to camp near a school in this area. The victim was assaulted around 615 last night on Zinfandel Drive near Italia Way. Melanie Wingo is live there tonight. So, Melanie, where does this investigation stand right now. Well, all of this is absolutely senseless, as we have described throughout the afternoon and evening, as we've learned more details about all of this. Now we know that the suspect is named by the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office, and we also know the brutal way in which he attacked the victim. A random and brutal attack stunning a Rancho Cordova neighborhood. The sheriff's office saying this man, 42 year old James Hall, attacked a bicyclist Monday evening. He should be considered armed and dangerous. Hall, known to the sheriff's office as a transient, frequently seen in Sacramento and Rancho Cordova, is accused of going after a 60 year old man who lives in the neighborhood as the man rode on his electric bike along Zinfandel Drive. The victim does not see this and hits him in the head with a machete, causing catastrophic damage to his skull and to his facial area. The victim rode for about 400 feet after the blow, collapsing on the ground, found by a passerby a short time later. Doctors telling investigators the man's injuries are so severe it's unlikely he'll recover. He is uh, in grave condition and that he has injuries that are not survivable. Neighbors never having questioned their safety before. Doesn't feel unsafe to me. Sharing how the park and bike lanes are used by all. We've got people every morning walking by and in the park with their animals. Unable to believe a crime like this happened right out their front doors. Families are always over there having barbecues, picnics, and what have you. The park's beautiful and safe. The community and law enforcement feeling for the victim and his family. This is somebody who lives in this this neighborhood who has worked all their life, retired and, and was, was randomly attacked. The sheriff's office sending a pointed message to the man they think is responsible for the crime. We are tracking you and we will get you. We, we will arrest you and bring you to justice. Detectives did recover that machete used in the attack. They say Hall ditched it not far from the crime scene. They say they also found several other belongings that belonged to Hall. They say at a nearby school, that school was on lockdown for a short time today as deputies went room to room, we're told, looking for any sign of Hall or any other belongings that might have been on that campus. Again, detectives telling us tonight that James Hall is still on the loose and he should be considered armed and dangerous. Do not approach him, according to the sheriff's office. If you see him, call 911. Reporting live in Rancho Cordova, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Just an unbelievable attack. Melanie, thank you so much for the update. And this is at least the third random deadly attack by a homeless person in Sacramento County this year. In January, Emma Rourke was walking along the American River Parkway in Rancho Cordova when prosecutors say she was brutally attacked attacked, raped and murdered. Her body was found in a homeless camp. Michaela Rawls, a transient with a lengthy criminal history dating back to 2005, was later arrested. And just last month, a long time Carmichael resident died after deputies say he was randomly attacked by a homeless man. Deputies say Darren Chastain was screaming and throwing rocks at a home when 74 year old Jim Raleigh confronted him. Police say Chastain attacked Raleigh, who later collapsed and died. In both of these cases, KCRA 3 spoke to law enforcement and local leaders about the attacks and in both cases they recognized that more needed to be done.